Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of October 12th through the 19th. Um, so, this is for the new moon. The new moon happens on the 16th, so you could call this like a new moon reading. So, what do we have for Cancer for the week of October 12th through the 19th? What do we have for Cancer? Look at that, I'm going to take those. They just happened to call to me. So, flowers. Happiness. Bouquet. More flowers. Compliments from an admirer. Grasshopper. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. So, there is something that requires careful handling. Somebody's probably going to be getting some flowers, okay, or something like that. Um, there's probably going to be some happiness this week. You may be happy with an outcome. Maybe you're going to be making somebody happy. Somebody's going to be either giving or receiving some compliments. Um, you probably have an admirer or you are admiring somebody. Nothing says I love you. I mean, I love you are words, and, and I know that they mean a lot, but flowers, you think about Valentine's Day and Mother's Day, flowers that say I love you, okay? They say I'm sorry. Somebody may be saying that. Uh, what do we have for cancer? Um, there's going to be a lot of flowers, put it that way. Just I Now I'm actually seeing the flowers, so something to do with flowers. Um... Who doesn't like flowers? I don't know. Um, cancer. The Fool, starting with a clean slate. So this is beautiful. This is a fresh start. It's starting over, okay? This is a new phrase. <laughs> a new phrase. A new phrase. A new phase, okay? A new phase. Um, this is uh, an exciting new beginning, right? And it's interesting because that's the first one is this uh, is the 69 so that's interesting anyway you have a new beginning here you have an opportunity to start fresh an opportunity to start from zero to start over so this is a brand new beginning you it is this is a brand new beginning for you it's exciting okay this is about taking a risk and acting on impulse so if you are fearful my advice is to let go of that fear and just do it Whatever it is that you want to do, do it. Seven of Swords, Reverse. Now, somebody may be coming back or wanting to go back to something to start over, okay? Because this is like going backwards to start fresh. Somebody may be ask, you know, apologizing. Maybe they did something, they hurt, they deceived, they lied, they cheated, something like that. They may be coming back around. They may want to start over. I don't know if that's your case, but that could be the case. This is also getting caught. Okay. Somebody may be finding a new approach. All right. Um, this could also be running into somebody. You may be running into somebody this week. Oh, look at that. That's your card in reverse. So this is stop. It's stop. It's emotional outburst. It could be a disaster. Okay, maybe you're fearful because this is fear. It is. You need, and this is fear as well. Because upright, there's no fear. In reverse, there's fear. It's wanting to hide. You know, wanting to hide from your feelings. Don't hide from your feelings. You may be reluctant to take a risk. You may be reluctant to follow your heart. You may be reluctant, but my advice is to master your emotions, get in the driver's seat, and do whatever it is that you need to do. Do not let fear get in the way. This is a card of faith, and this is a card of faith, but it's reversed. You need to replace that fear with faith this, year, this week. Replace that fear with faith, okay? Replace that fear with faith. I mean, that's what we got. That's what this week is about. Stepping into your faith. Stepping out of your fear. Okay? Let go of the fear. Do you want to be happy? Do you want to be happy? Or do you want to throw away your happiness? I, I mean, 
it's up to you, right? It's up to you. So I feel as though, you know, you may be stopping yourself. You're stopping yourself. You're, 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 you're up against a brick wall, right? Your fear is stopping you from doing something. Now, chariot is a stop. It's like a stop sign. The chariot is lack of control, lack of discipline, emotions all over the place, uh, anger, lack of direction, feeling scatterbrained. Um, you really are going to need to take charge. You're, you're going to need to. Um, I think that you need to be careful. Somebody could run into something. Okay, this is stopped and this is running in, not looking where you're going, running into something. This is risky behavior. So I don't know who that is for. That message may or may not resonate with you, but somebody could, you know, run into something with their car because they're not paying attention. Be careful. All right. Be careful. Um, this is somebody that runs away when the going gets tough. The seven of swords reversed. There could be some consequences for doing so. This is somebody that doesn't have any backbone. That needs to find the backbone to do the right thing. We have somebody here that cannot master their emotions and really needs to. You have an opportunity for happiness. You may be running into somebody that you connect with and you don't even talk to them or you, sm you know, it's funny. It's like smug. You know, it's funny because I, before I started this re reading, I kept on saying, well, I can't, I was smug kept coming into my head. Well, smug, smug, smug. That person's so smug. You know, I was reading somebody else's, uh, comment on another reading and their comment was very smug and I thought yeah you could see the smugness in their comment and it's right before your reading so I just I just want to let you know you know if you run into somebody that um, I don't know maybe you run into somebody that you've had feelings for in the past or whatever don't ignore them and this is like ignoring them talk to them Two of Swords reversed, Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Two of Swords is communication in reverse. It's opening up. Open up communication. Don't block. Unblock. Unblock your feelings. Somebody's blocked and they need to be unblocked. Okay? You need to unblock. You need to open up. You need to expose. There is going to be some exposure this week. I think that you're going to... It feels like you're going to be face to face with somebody. If not, you're going to be communicating or there's a potential to communicate with somebody. There's definitely a golden opportunity here. We, this Queen of Pentacles, she has a lot to offer. She knows her value. She's a hard worker, very devoted, very nurturing, very stable, solid, and secure. This, this Queen of Pentacles seems to be holding her own. She's holding on to stability. She's holding on to her money. She has money. She's abundant. So you may be, uh, I don't know something to do with the queen of pentacles maybe you need to unblock the queen of pen i mean i don't know if that's you or she needs to unblock you this is unblocking okay being honest as well so the two of swords reversed is opening up uh lies being exposed and there's been some sort of lies somebody's been hiding something Okay, we have a very cunning individual that has been hiding their feelings, it's their feelings. I know they have, which is interesting. Anyhow, this is unblocking, opening up, seeing the truth. But there's overwhelming fear here. Fear. So the, I think that, that you are in some sort of fear. I think that you will get an opportunity to start fresh with somebody, but you're going to have to communicate. Communication is needed. You can't run away from the truth. You can't run away from your feelings. So there's some sort of feelings here that are being hidden. Somebody's hiding behind a mask. 
but there's an opportunity to start fresh. You just have to decide. This is the decision. This is two paths. So I feel like you're going to be making a decision this week as to which road you want to go down, which path you want to go down. I feel like you're going to somebody is going to cross your path. Somebody is going to cross your path that you have some sort of connection with this person. And it may be on the road. It may be on the road or at a store or something like that. Anyway, there's, a, there's an opportunity to start fresh, but somebody is in their fear. They're in extreme fear. They've stopped communicating. They've blocked communication, but communication could be opening back up. The Queen of Pentacles is very valuable. That's the value in her hand. She has something to offer. She has value. So this Queen of Pentacles has something valuable, something solid, something stable. She's very loyal. Somebody is seeing the loyalty. They're seeing the value in a person. When they tried to escape the truth, they tried to escape. Now they're seeing the value. But they've been blocked. They've been blocked for some reason. Um, interesting. And now that's reversed. Because a situation in the balance that requires careful handling, and it does, it does require careful handling because there's a level, well, there's a level of indecision here. There's a, the fear is in the way and there's an opportunity to start fresh, but you have to master your emotions and you have to speak up and be honest. That two of swords is about honesty and integrity and speaking the truth and not trying to escape. You know, owning up to the truth with the seven of swords, opening up to the feelings, owning up to the feelings and expressing the feelings that have been hidden and buried and ignored. Somebody's been ignoring their feelings and they've been really discontent because of it. But anyhow, um... I think there's going to be, I mean, with that Two of Wands reversed next to the Two of Swords reversed now, there could be a sudden arrival, sudden departure, a sudden meetup. Suddenly somebody shows up, they're in your path, they're in front of you, you know, and there's a chance to reconcile. And I don't, I don't know where I see reconciliation. It just came out of my mouth. Um... Somebody has been choosing a, the safe route, right? They've been choosing a mundane life. They've been choosing the safe option. But now, something is right in front of them. They have a golden opportunity right now. Right now is a golden opportunity to start over. So there is going to be a golden opportunity. Um... Uh, it's not over yet. This is something coming back from the dead. It's unfinished business. I think there's some unfinished business to be dealt with this week. Um, hasn't been let go. I think this has been weighing you down. It's been weighing you down. It's been heavy. You've been carrying a heavy burden. I feel like uh, this is it's getting old. I think that the clo some sort of closure is needed or there's a chance for to break free because freedom freedom is here, okay? Both of the, there's freedom here. There's so there's an opportunity to break free from this burden. Um But you have to take action because that fool card has to take a risk. So there's some sort of risk here. You will be taking a risk this week and stepping into unknown territory. I feel like you have been held back by fear. You've been he definitely held back by fear. You've, you've uh, needed to end something for quite some time because these are endings and this is a new beginning. But you've been holding on. Holding on and holding on and holding on and holding on. But I feel like the holding on is getting old and it's really caused you a lot of grief. It's caused you even, you know, caused you a lot of stress. I feel like you have been overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with some sort of burden that uh, you need to release. And I, you've, been, you've been reluctant to release it because you, that releasing this burden requires communication. And I feel like, or it requires you taking a step. 
You have to take a step. You have to step over the edge. You have to step out of your comfort zone. And I feel like you've been playing it safe. You've been really, really, really playing it safe. And stepping outside of your comfort zone is, is very scary. So I feel like this week, you know, something is going to be in your path. It's like all of a sudden... You can't go in that direction anymore. You have to go the other direction. You know, you have to go that way. You have to go that way. And by going that way, uh, it's almost like it forces you to, to see. It forces you to see what you've been missing, you know, um, which is interesting. I think that, you, that you're going to see something that you've been missing. Um, something or somebody, um, there could be a sudden departure or a sudden arrival here, um, with that two of wands reverse. That's all of a sudden, all of a sudden somebody is, is right in front of you and this is an opportunity. It's an opportunity for you to say something. Um, I just heard that say something I'm giving up on you interesting so um, I feel like you're dealing with a with an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn um, There's been a delay in success. There's been a delay in happiness. You've been blocking a better future by ignoring the truth. I think something is going to come to a halt. Something is going to come to a stop. Something you've been hanging on to that isn't serving you. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries. Pretending that everything is okay. I don't see any love in these cards. There's been some deception. Either way, I see you taking a risk. I see you stepping into unknown territory um, and breaking free from something that has been breaking you. You're going to break free from something that has been a huge burden, okay? You're going to be letting it go. Um, <laughs> reluctantly. Reluctantly letting it go because it was safe. It was safe to hang on to. You know, you're in some safe situation. But I feel like this week there's going to be, it's almost like something happens by accident, okay? It's like it happens by accident and it's out of your control. It's like the universe is in control. It's like they bring you together with this person that, you know, um, I don't know. There's some sort of deception here. Previous, maybe you cheated with them or who knows what. Or there's been, I don't know what it is. But I feel like there's been some sort of blockage of a feelings. You've been blocking your feelings for this person or something like that. Anyhow, I feel like there's a chance for a reunion. And I, I said reconciliation. I don't know where it's coming from with somebody that you admire a lot. That you have been ignoring because um, wherever you've been, it was safer. It was safe to stay in that situation. It was safe, safe to stay there. But I feel like this week you just can't ignore it because this person is... Is right there, you know. Either you get a message for them from them, or you meet them at the store. You see, you don't, and, or you see them unexpectedly, and it's it's you can't not uh, go down that road. You know what I mean? It's just like your your emotions are all over the place. It really stirs your emotions. It stirs you up. It it, it breaks you. It breaks you. It's like this person breaks you. Because, uh, you know, the feelings are so deep. So I don't know who this is. I feel like you are you have an opportunity to step into um, a new chapter, a fresh start, a new beginning. And I feel like this is with somebody that you know that may have, um, there may have been some deception in the past. But 
you can't let them go because the feelings are um, so real. So I don't know where that's coming from, but I do expect you to be communicating with somebody that um, you can't let go of and they can't let go of you either. Good luck.